if you need to scrape data from Craigslist, I'm going to show you how to scrape the Craigslist API while simply browsing through public listings as to not violate the terms of service. To get started, head to your favorite Craigslist website and pick any of these categories here. I'll keep this safe for work and click Automotive. Apply any relevant filters you may need. You can also change the sort order if you'd like. The only thing you must do is make sure you have this view setting to preview so we can scrape the details of all these listings. Now when your screen looks like this, right click on the page and hit inspect to open up developer tools, which will automatically begin recording your network traffic from the Craigslist API. Now refresh the page to force Craigslist to send us the data back now that we're recording what it's sending. And under the network tab, I'll see that there are two types of data sent back. One is this basic information for these little cards on the left, not super useful. We can see that here under this full, we go to data and then we should see items and we'll see there's a ton of items returned. So they send us multiple pages of results, but there's not much here. It shows us the title of the post and a slug to access the post, but not the full URL. So this is not super useful to scrape. What's more useful is here under this preview section, this full body of each Craigslist post is being sent over API, including the phone number. We can see it down here in the network tab with this big number here. It's kind of a complicated network request, but the data is here. Immediate availability with the full HTML of that Craigslist post. We can also see some details about where it's located, the neighborhood, latitude, longitude, etc., as well as the timestamp of when this was posted to Craigslist. We also get the full URL to the listing in case we want to visit it and interact with it in other ways. So this was the first result. To get the second result, I just click on this little preview card here and the API returns another big blob of JSON with the same data, but for the second post. I can see that full body HTML here from the API, which corresponds to this full HTML here, which contains another phone number, which I know you guys may find useful. Now to get all of these posts back, we simply go on the left and scroll through and click on each listing. It's a little bit tedious, but I personally find it a little bit therapeutic and it also gives your interns or virtual assistants something to do. But the main benefit is that this doesn't violate the Craigslist terms of service as we're simply just using the website normally if anybody asks. So I got through the first page of 120 and I can go to the next page and keep on doing this. This took about five minutes, but I don't feel like doing it for this video. So now it loaded the first result of the second page. So I have a total of 121 of these posts loaded into my browser. Like I said, you could keep going if you really want to. So now the trick is how do we get all this JSON out of the browser? Under the network tab, look for the down arrow labeled export har and click it to download a combined file of all those JSON responses into a har file. Then using the link in the description, you can use my no code Craigslist API scraper featuring the har file web scraper here in green. This will parse any har file, not just from Craigslist. So just drag and drop the har file here and it will auto magically find all the related requests and group them together. Here's the name of the market, New York and AOS is the category. So this URL is gonna vary based on what you do. But here I can see I have 121 requests corresponding to the 121 results I loaded from the first page plus the first result of the second page. Now to get the data out of here, you can click on these blue links here and download the raw JSON for each of these requests to so your download folder. So you'll have them all in one place and you can parse through them with code. But if you don't like coding and just want a CSV file, click this parse group button here and our freemium service will let you download this combined data up to 10 rows a day, absolutely free into a CSV file you can look at in Excel or Google Sheets. So let's do a quick walkthrough of the columns. Here, this data ID is a unique identifier for each post. This is important to deduplicate these in case you accidentally double click on one of them and load the same thing twice. We can see the title of the post and this is the body of the post. This is what you guys are interested in because it's gonna have phone number, contact information, et cetera, inside of it. There are a bunch of free extractors if you search on Google for like phone number from text extractor. You can paste these in and it will find all the phone numbers and emails and extract them out for you. You also see the post category, which is helpful if you're scraping multiple categories. And here's the Unix timestamp of when this was posted. So you can see how long this has been on Craigslist. Here's the URL of the actual post if you want to manually visit them and check them out. Individual neighborhoods if you need to segment these or filter them to your most relevant neighborhood. And we even get latitude and longitude coordinates. If you want to get the image, this appears to be a key used to fetch the image from Craigslist, but I'm not going to get into that. And lastly, some custom attributes like offered in person or virtually. So I hope you guys found this useful. You'll probably see a bunch of interesting data types depending on the category you scrape, like housing will probably show you a bunch of other different fields. Maybe I'll do a video on that next. Let me know in the comments what you're using this for and what you'd like me to show you how to scrape next. And speaking of housing, check out this next video on scraping Airbnb listings. Thanks for watching until the end. Like and subscribe for more.